Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to convert common units of measure from larger to smaller units and vice versa. Meter to centimeters, kilometer and meters, kilogram and gram, gram and milligram, and liter and milliliter. But first, let's have a review. What is a conversion? A conversion refers to the process of changing a value from one unit of measurement to another without altering the actual amount or quantity. It involves using a specific mathematical relationship or formula to express the same quantity in different units. Let's start! Part 1. Meter to Centimeter or Centimeter to Meter Remember, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Let's measure the length of this door. How many centimeters are there in 2 meters? Since 100 centimeters are there in 1 meter, we are going to multiply 2 times 100 equals 200. So, 2 meters is 200 centimeters. How about the length of this desk? 1.5 meters is equal to what centimeters? Since this is a decimal number, we will move two decimal places to the right. 1, 2, and add 0 to the space before decimal point. And the answer is 150 centimeters. How about the height of this boy? 1.75 meters is equal to how many centimeters? 1.75. Move two decimal places to the right. One, two. So, the height of this boy is 175 centimeters. Now, one centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meters. Or, you will just move two decimal places to the left. Let's measure the length of this phone. 20 centimeters is how many meters? So, we will move two decimal places to the left, starting from the right. 1, 2, and add 0. So, the answer is 0 0.20 meters. How about 15 centimeters? How many meters? We will move two decimal places to the left. 1, 2, add 0. So, the answer is 0 0.15 meters. Let's try. 10,000 centimeters. 180 centimeters 0 0.15 meters 3.25 centimeters Part 2 Kilometer to meter and meter to kilometer A. Kilometer to meter In 1 kilometer, there are 1,000 meters or move 3 decimal places to the right 42 kilometers. How many meters? Since this is a whole number and not decimal number, we'll just add three zeros or multiply by 1,000. So 42 kilometers is 42,000 meters. How many 0 0.4 kilometers in meters? We'll move three decimal places to the right. One, two, three. Add zero to the space or spaces before decimal point. And the answer is 400. How about this one? Let's move three decimal places to the right. One, two, three. Add zero to the space or spaces before decimal point. And the answer is 1,200 meters. Letter B. Meter to kilometer. In one meter, there are 0 0.001 kilometers. Or... Move three decimal places to the left. How many 200 meters in kilometers? Move three decimal places to the left. One, two, three. And add zero. So the answer is 0 0.200 or 0 0.2. 5,000 meters in kilometers. Let's move three decimal places to the left. One, two, three. And the answer is five kilometers. Let's try! 
39,000 meters. 800 meters. 1.5 meters. 0 0.05 kilometers. Bar 3. Kilogram to gram and gram to kilogram. In 1 kilogram, there are 1,000 grams or move 3 decimal places to the right. How many grams are there in 2 kilograms? We will just multiply it by 1,000. So the answer is 2,000 grams. How about 1.5 kilogram? Since this is a decimal point, we will move 3 decimal places to the right. 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 1,500 grams. Letter B. Gram to kilogram. In 1 gram, there are 0.001 kilograms or move 3 decimal places to the left. How many kilograms are there in 100 gram? Let's move 3 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3. There are 0.1 kilogram. How about 250 grams? 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 0 0.25 kilograms. Let's try. 3,000 grams. 2,900 grams. 0 0.9 kilogram. 0 0.45 kilogram. Part 4. Gram to milligrams and milligrams to grams. A. Gram to milligram. In 1 gram, there are 1,000 milligrams. Or move 3 decimal places to the right. How many milligrams are there in 15 grams? Since this is a whole number, we will just multiply this by 1,000 or just add 3 zeros. So the answer is 15,000. How about 30 grams? Let's move 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3. It's 30,000 milligrams. Letter B. Milligram to gram. In 1 milligram, there are 0 0.001 grams. Or move 3 decimal places to the left. How many grams are there in 1,000 milligrams? Move 3 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 1 gram. How about 250 milligrams? 1, 2, 3. A zero. So the answer is 0 0.25 grams. Let's try. 35,000 milligrams. 7,300 milligrams. 0 0.1 gram. 0 0.345 grams. Part 5. Liter to milliliter and milliliter to liters. In 1 liter, there are 1,000 milliliters or move 3 decimal places to the right. How many milliliters are there in 0 0.355 liters? Let's move 3 decimal places to the right. 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 355 milliliters. How about 2.5 liters? 1, 2, 3 decimal places. Add 2 zeros. And the answer is 2,500 milliliters. Letter B. 1 milliliter is equal to 0 0.001 liters. Or move 3 decimal places to the left. How many liters are there in 3,500 milliliters? Move 3 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 3.5 liters. How about this one? Let's move 3 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3. And the answer is 0 0.28 liters. Let's try. 37,000 milliliters. 
7,640 milliliters. 0 0.8 liters. 34.512 liters. Activity time! Activity number 1. Convert each measurement from meters to centimeters or from centimeters to meters. As indicated, choose the correct answer from the options provided. Here are the answers. Activity number 2. Convert each measurement from kilometers to meters or from meters to kilometers as indicated. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Convert each measurement from kilograms to grams or from grams to kilograms as indicated. Here are the answers. Activity number 4. Convert each measurement from grams to milligrams or from milligrams to grams as indicated.
Here are the answers. Activity number 5. Convert each measurement from liters to milliliters or from milliliters to liters as indicated. Here are the answers! Always remember, when converting units, focus on moving the decimal point. Move it 3 decimal places to the right to convert from a larger unit to a smaller one, and 3 places to the left for smaller to larger units. This keeps conversions quick and accurate. Thank you so much for watching! Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!